Welcome back. I have the small turbine hooked up there with an extension cord and it runs into my shop. Let's go see what it's doing. The only thing I was able to run is this tiny little green LED. And we can calculate the power that it's producing because I have, this is detecting current. So that's 0 0.04 amps. And this is detecting volts, which is 2.6. 0 0.04 times 2.6 is 0.1 watts. So that's about a, a pitifully useless amount of energy. So, oh well, let's try the other one. This is the other turbine I'm talking about. It's supposed to have a permanent magnet motor in there. Sort of like what's in these, but wound for uh, higher voltage. All right, I've got this hooked up. It appears to be flowing less gallons per minute. And ideally in this situation, you'd be flowing more gallons per minute and you'd be using all of the six gallons per minute that's available right now. So we'll see. Obviously this is designed for a higher pressure. And here we see it's making less volts than this guy that was in the stream. Um, I'm just gonna hook this LED up. We'll see what it does. Maybe it's brighter or not. Okay, that's 0 0.08 amps at three volts. So it's producing more power, but at a lower open circuit voltage. Let me calculate what that is. So previously we had 0.04 times 2.5 and this one's gonna be, let's zoom out a little bit here. Point, what's well 0.08 now? Zero, eight times three, and that'll give us the watts, 0.24 watts. So it's, what would that be, 150% better at power production, but the power that it's producing is not enough to charge a 12 volt battery, unless you used a buck boost converter, but then you're, still dealing with uh, a pittance of amps or watts. So that wouldn't be worth it. So as it is now, those are both kind of useless. <laughs> um, there's, there's the LED that it's putting out power to. Of course, it's not shining at the camera. Now shining at the camera, it looks brighter. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going from here again. I might try using a nozzle with my old water wheel motor to run a Pelton wheel because I've calculated that there's well over 10 watts of power coming out of that hose, 15, 17 watts even potentially. Um, we just need to harness it. So I, I got to work on that to keep you guys entertained. Oh, I, another point of note is that I tried using this watt meter to monitor the amps going into the battery when I did have it connected. Um, but when I plug this into the turbine, we're just coming in through this orange, uh, orange extension cord here, and it's so low volts, there's no amp loss over this or negligible amounts of amps that are lost over the extension cord. But this, when I plugged it into the first turbine here, it went from like 16, 17 volts down to seven volts. So it took half of the power this was producing to just power this watt meter. And I also tried uh, direct coupling this to the battery and it was only making, or no, it wasn't even generating enough current to show up here on my current meter. And I tried these sh shorter readings here more sensitive readings and it just it wasn't detecting anything so I, i'm not sure exactly what was going on there all right i was playing around with it a little bit more and on this watt meter here 
getting fluctuating volts, but at least it's showing there. But as soon as I try to power anything, such as this little motor, let me just stick that in there, which does work. And that there. See, it shuts off. Let me turn this around so you can hear it. It is running, it's hard to see. Where's the lead? There's, oh, there it is. <laughs> so it does barely run that. It's got no torque whatsoever though. It's not 100% useless but it's as near useless as you can get. I feel I should add a disclaimer that my installation doesn't have nearly the same uh, water pressure as what you can get from a garden hose. At least a typical garden hose, it's about half of what the lowest would be. So if you have more pressure, it'll flow more, it'll make more volts, it'll be a lot more useful to actually put out a useful amount of power. So don't let my application of this of these guys dissuade you, they're just not suited for my application.